Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. Someone asked me how to create tapered rivers in QGIS. There have been some nice tutorials about that, like this one from uh, Anita Graser, and this one from uh, Rodriguez Lombardo. And uh, I'll put the links in the description, but in this video I'm going to show you how uh, it works. And uh, I'll start with this data set from uh, the root catchment that in a previous video uh, I have downloaded from OpenStreetMap. And uh, I've dissolved uh, all the rivers, so this is one uh, feature. Because I can then use this um, lines ranking plugin to create features of each uh, tributary. And that's the first step that I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And uh, I can point to the outlet, so it will create different uh, tributaries. Zoom to the layer back and uh, let's uh, look at the result. By putting the labels there use the rank. So here we see the different ranks of the, the streams. And um, now to get these tapered rivers we need to um, have them as a feature uh, for the different lengths of continuous streams. I'm going to do that manually. Um, so I'm going to toggle editing mode, go to the attribute table, so I'm going to add a field to assign unique numbers to each um, part of the stream that I want to have uh, tapered over its full length. And uh, I'm going to call this uh, one, um, let's call it ID, whole number. And only one number needed in this uh, data set. And I'm going to uh, select the longest stream here. So when I make this one feature, then uh, the line will be tapered over its full length. And I'm going to do the same with the other streams. So that's the purpose of uh, this part. So here I can change the value for the selected lines. And I'm going to call this one line number one. And I'm also going to change here the label so I can see what I'm doing. Then I go to number two. Let's take this one. With the control button, I select the river. Number two. Nine I'm going to save it. And uh, now I'm going to dissolve uh, these lines. So it's uh, all these features that are part of one tributary they will be then uh, one feature and that's what we need so I'm going to choose here the dissolve fields and I choose there the unique numbers the IDs that we gave and run there we are and the next step is to assign the size that we want to use for uh, the tapered stream. So we make sure that the biggest one is the largest, and then the smaller one uh, a bit less, etc. So I'm going to edit. And I add a new field. Toggle editing on. And I call it size. 
again a whole number. So I'm going to give length. I'm going to sort it on the length. You can give the size. And now we can use it for the styling. I'm going to choose here a simple line, but change that to the geometry generator. And it needs to be a line that we generate from the geometry and then it will be segments to line to lines yep there we go so now all the segments are uh, lines and then we can style it and we're going to use a color blue and I change this to uh, meters at scale. And I'm going to edit. And I'm going to use the size here. We do size times geometry part number divided over geometry part count times the log of the length times 3 and the 3 is just a scaling factor that you can uh, increase if you want it larger and now you see it's a uh, drawing We can play with the values to make it a bit more prominent. I'm going to use here a big value. That looks great. I'm going to remove uh, the labels. And I'm going to combine it with uh, elevation to see uh, the final result. And that's the result. Hope you enjoyed the video.